I hear someone knocking. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, look at these Back guys. Back in Oregon. <laughs> look at these guys. Where's she at? Oh my God. Freaking huge. Oh, oh, I just, I wanted to hug this thing for so long. <laughs> this is the first time I'm getting to see this. What have we done? Created a monster. Oh my. You know, the pictures don't do it justice. I mean, honestly, it's so much, so much bigger than the pictures show it to be. I've been told that before. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, it was politically incorrect. My goodness, that is so cool. Man, oh man, that motor doesn't look that big in there. When we get all the turbos and everything on it, it'll be, it'll be big. Beautiful tanks. Man, you guys did a beautiful job. Awesome. Can't wait to get this thing home and keep working on it. So we're gonna uh, talk with Troy a little bit here and have him explain kind of what he did and uh, maybe the the challenges that this build is, uh, has brought forth for the Torchcraft Marine. They've got a couple of their uh, their uh, normal boats. I don't know what I, what I would call them now after doing something crazy like this. <laughs> it's one of their standard uh, full builds here, a couple of them. Heading to, where are they heading? Uh, they're going to Idaho. Heading to Idaho soon. They're gonna be in a winter storm on their way to Idaho. Yep, I head out this week. But, uh, so what kind of, what kind of challenges did you face on this, this build to this point? This hull is not designed to pump this large going inside of it. I would say the biggest challenge is the elephant in the room and that is this ginormous Southern Jet 216. This hull uh, is not, particularly designed to handle a pump this big uh, without serious modifications. So the biggest modification we had to do was cut the whole center section out of the swim deck, cut into the transom, raise it, put this tunnel in there just so we could clear all of our linkages, the beauty cap uh, to get this behemoth in there. Uh, luckily, we didn't have to change any transom angles. The way the Southern Jet's set up, it can deal with so many degrees of transom angle. Uh, so that definitely helped us in the long run. Everything else with the pump went fairly smooth. We just slowly cut our way through and until we got everything to fit and glued her in. I'm here to tell you guys, you just, the, the pictures don't do it justice how big that thing is. I, I would say it's over probably three times the size of your standard jet ski intake. Yeah, that, that would be a good comparison. <laughs> and the, three times In the least. back of this thing. I have a pretty big hand and that's the, that's the, the, the bucket. I mean, uh, minus a little bit here, but uh, this thing is just huge. You have to see it in person. Thanks to Torchcraft for uh, taking on this project. Uh, this is the third third project they've taken on that's kind of out of their comfort zone for us and uh, we appreciate it. What do you think? It's pretty pretty nice uh, seats. Man, this is comfortable. We went for the full race seat as you can see. Uh, we got the uh, Piranha logo in the in the top of it in the back right there. And the other seat, we only brought one so that when we uh, pick up the boat we could just see how it's centered in the wheel and it's perfectly centered in the wheel. We're gonna have to do an extension though because the steering wheel needs to sit about right here. My feet are in a really good position for the throttle. I might, might have to go back just a tiny bit. Um, we are gonna put seat adjusters on these seats also, so we'll have the ability to move the seat forward and aft. Full roll cage back here uh, with five point harness and uh, locking you in here. But man, this is comfortable. And it doesn't feel as big as it kind of appears. It's what, four inches wider than, than, the, than the Mojo boat and about a foot longer? Yeah, yep. These so, seats have all carbon back, a carbon frame to them as well, so that they, they don't weigh anything. No, they're very super light. And super I, I gotta tell you, this is really comfortable, like a really comfortable seat. Got the uh, helmet supports for uh, when we uh, do the speed record stuff, we'll be wearing full helmet, five point harness. We'll have oxygen. Um, everything we need to be safe as possible. But uh, let's get this thing home and start mocking up the engine, the turbos, the exhaust, all that stuff's gonna uh, start in the next week or so. So more updates on the Mojo H2O channel. 
and the Torchcraft Marine YouTube channel. You'll see uh, their work on this up to this point on uh, his channel, and from this point on, you're gonna see it on my channel, and we'll be sharing stuff back and forth. And then it'll probably be coming back here for its final fit and finish like we did with Megan's uh, 33 boat and the testing in the uh, Willamette River, right? W Willamette. Willamette River. <laughs> Willamette. Easy for you to say. See you in California.